The West Virginia Mine Wars were a series of disputes, strikes, and battles between coal miners and mine owners that lasted from 1912 through 1921. The miners wanted better pay, better working conditions, the right to unionize, and the right to buy and trade where they pleased. The mine owners would respond by hiring the Baldwin Fells Detective Agency to guard the mines and break any strikes that might occur. Bloody gunfights, double crossings, and complicated trials would bring West Virginia to the brink of all-out war. These are the West Virginia Mine Wars. West Virginia only had a few active coal mines around the time of the American Civil War, but this would change in the 1880s when coal would boom in the region. Railroad companies began laying track in and through the state, and this would bring many new workers in the region and allowed young mining companies to create large operations seemingly overnight. This quick expansion led to the creation of coal camps, which were small communities for miners and their families that were owned by the mining companies. These camps were almost entirely self-sufficient. Miners were often paid in coal script, which were paper notes issued by the mine owners It can only be used as select stores that were also owned by the mine companies. Working in the mines was very dangerous work, and West Virginia had the highest death rates in the country in the early 1900s. During World War I, West Virginia miners faced higher death rates than even soldiers in the American Expeditionary Force fighting in Europe. While all of this was going on, the United Mine Workers of America, or UMWA, tried to establish a foothold in the state. During the Panic of 1893, which was an economic depression in the country, many West Virginia miners joined the UMWA, and in 1902, state membership had eclipsed 5,000 members, but only a few were from the southern region of the state. The drive for power and an increase in members would mean that the UMWA would play a huge role during the mine wars, and this would bring them in conflict with mine owners, state officials, and even the state militia and police. There would be small strikes throughout the 1880s and early 1900s, but things would heat up with the Paint Creek and Kamakuk Strike of 1912. 